this is why we have to have models. We have to have some other representation of being able to show someone exactly where things are going to be. tools to, to everyone who's going to be interested to, to knowing about the design, and especially to the, the director being the, the number one person we want to, to show this, this tool to. And so uh, it, it can be anything from a small visual representation of, of what this 2D sketch is going to look like in 3D space. And it can go all the way from that all the way to a fully polished, you know, museum quality, beautiful color uh, model. The, the idea is, is just how best to, uh, to show these people you know, what our design is going to look like on stage. I've been building models since I was seven years old, doing uh, military models, planes, ships, tanks, all of those kind of things. And I had always just really enjoyed that, that detail, the level of detail, and creating dioramas and creating life and mini miniature. And so when realizing that there was this, this job in <laughs> set design that incorporates model building, I was very excited. Being in theater in, in high school, I was doing a lot of the, the set construction, and my teachers got me into doing some, some model building for some of the sets and getting into the design. And that got me excited and then in undergrad I, I had a, a great program where I was able to uh, to get a little more hands-on and, and my uh, by taking that into uh, working at the La Jolla Playhouse as a resident assistant and, and meeting David Gallo and having him look at my models and, and look at my designs and then be able to to bring me in to to work for him for for all of his productions. With, with David, he gives me some rough sketches and uh, of varying degrees. A lot of times uh, he'll give me an exploded view of something that, that almost, you know, you can take and fold right up and all of a sudden you've, you've got a model in front of you. Uh, and a lot of other times you get some, some sketches that you then, uh, we, we take, we polish up, we, uh, we start putting it into the computer, we start photoshopping things and, you know, and, and kind of taking that design and kind of making it more of what's really in his head. Working with him uh, as much as I do, I know, you know, what he's going for. And so then I can kind of finish off exactly what he's trying to create and then we can get that into the model. This is a good example of just a, a simple white model, and this is actually a combination of just taking a, the, the drafting, the original sketches that David produces, and, and then just kind of extruding that into three dimensions. This is an example of one of the other drops in the, the scene, the lemur village, you know, of the, another drop in the show. And so this is a sketch that, that Dave created for this drop, and then we'll take it and um, then we have these, uh, these paint elevations, and this is actually going to stay in the model here for the, the white model, but we have the, the color paint elevation that will eventually be handed off to the shop for what, what this will end up actually looking like in the show. A lot of times at, at the meetings, I mean, the, the model is a very important piece of, of, the, of the meeting, of the, the design. It becomes the, kind of the focal point of, of the communication of showing people, you know, here is where we're heading. This is, this is what we're looking to do. And here it is in this, you know, perfectly scaled environment so that we know that this is how it will look on stage if we continue on course. So we've got our quarter inch model of Memphis here, which was actually created uh, later in the process, which is kind of unique. It was more of, of just there for us for staging. As you see, it still has a, a ground plan printed on the, the floor, so we weren't trying to represent the actual floor finish that we would have. But this uh, is, is fully rigged to show our spinning columns and our, our tracking walls. You know, so the, the technology of our uh, the, the actual production is shown here in scale, trying to show exactly how this would work so we can configure all of the, the scenes. I find one of the most exciting things about model building and theater in general is that you obviously you never know you know where you're going to, to go with the set and, and the different materials that can be used. And the, in, in theater, I mean, the, I think a very important thing with model making is, is just you know, how resourceful are you? How, how, how do you see, you know, this bead and how do you make that into the stair rail? You know, you know, being able to take everyday items that we're seeing and then, and see them in scale and the simplest thing can, can make it into the model and with a little bit of paint, uh, it becomes something completely different and, and becomes very fun in that sense. 
Yeah, being that, it, that a model is a communication tool, there there is always, depending on the complexity of the design, there's, there's definitely a, a huge component of it of how do you present these different scenes. For a, a 3D physical model to be able to, to get your hands in and move things around and, and in, in a meeting be able to like tear a wall out and just say like, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna move this over here. You know, being able to, to really craft the space in that way usually helps people visualize much, much more of what's going to end up on stage. And that can be done in the computer now as well, which we're getting into being able to spin someone around a 3D environment and walk them through or send them videos of, of someone walking through a space. It's still, I think, very new in the theatrical world. It's obviously not new in selling people in the commercial world and in, in architecture. But but for us, I think it so, has so much value in, in the speed at which we can do it and the, the accuracy of it and being able to really see from each seat what is going to be on stage. Showing, you know, a, a, a Broadway set in full motion is extremely difficult to, to rig up in a model. You know, it always makes meetings go on <laughs> three hours longer than they need to as you're setting up the 20 scenes. Whereas if you can just press a button and you can, and you can go through all these different scene changes much more easily in this computer program. Just the, the range of, of different uh, shows that, that David gets to do is, is so much fun being able to continue change the style of everything that you're working on. Coming from a similar background and being a set designer uh, myself as well, and you know the process, you know how it's getting on stage, so you're taking his vision and uh, you're realizing this work on stage. So I'm taking all of my knowledge and my design sensibility and layering that into his vision and, and getting that out there. I try to be uh, as malleable as possible. I try to, um, you know, to, to take on their design uh, uh, sensibility, their aesthetic. You know, obviously you're you're creating their vision. So as an associate designer, you are going to be taking their ideas and you're continuing as what they are trying to get on stage.